Yes, sir. I'd like to ask her, uh, how long have you been publishing your book, and uh, are you turning a profit yet? Your magazine. The magazine hasn't hit the stand yet, but it will be shortly, very shortly. This is the premier issue. It was just ready in time for the show. Are you there, caller? I'm glad you waited. Hi. Yes, hello. I wanted to know, the gentlemen who are in the catalog, do they get paid for it? That, no, they don't. This and is... when's New York men coming out? <laughs> I'm working when's what? New York. Oh, New York men. A New York men, yeah. Uh... I'm working on it. Are you working on it? I bet you are. I bet you are. I'm glad you uh, waited. Are you there? Call her high. Hi. Um, I have a question for Michael and Tony. What do you guys look for in a woman? Michael and Tony. Yeah, I remember Michael. Michael I like Meyer an athletic woman Armour. myself. What? Someone, I like an athletic woman. Someone yeah. who's not afraid to go to the beach and play volley volleyball, body surf, that kind of thing. Uh -huh. Really? <laughs> no, I really do. I look for uh, an athletic woman. That's the uh -huh. first thing I look for in a woman. Hmm. Well, don't we all, huh? <laughs> Tony? Yeah, I'm the same way. Same I, way. I'm a physical fitness instructor at um, Gold Coast Gym at Pompano. I'd yeah. love to train as many women as possible. Yeah. As you, many. You don't want, uh, you know, elegant well, shishi. You want I, a I, woman who knows how to take care I, of herself. Know, and... Any woman could be in physical fitness, you know, in, in, into, into physical endurance sports. You yeah. know, it's just up to the individual, you know. So, you know, it's any woman could do it. <laughs> yeah. Bill, I just want to say that these three very nice-looking women have all these very nice-looking men at their feet right now. They do. Yeah, they sure great. do. Good grades. Yeah. I want to ask you, gentlemen, have you ever been out with a fraud or meeting a married woman? When you bring her back home, the husband meets you at the door with a 12 gauge and a can of Budweiser. That, you took the question right out of my mouth. I was just about to ask that. No. Man, keep it so the first guys work like personals in the newspaper and in New Yorker magazine. That's how you guys work? The first panel? No, That's just out of the... Magazine, just out of the magazine. Yeah. yeah. No, no, but like the New Yorker magazine. Like... You mean, you mean personals? Yeah. Single woman looking for... It's sort of, but uh, those don't have pictures. These do. Here you get them. <laughs> no, I understand that. Oh, you do. All right. Wait, wait, okay. Wait. Yeah. How does... How did the ladies with the Jewish stuff, how do you publicize what you're doing or... People hear about us all the time. We keep getting phone calls, and ours is really by referrals. Two men who were on the program tonight wanted to come to my parties. I mean, it's just, they hear about it. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to send my son. How do I, where you, are you located? You want to send your car? son. He's adorable. Is he? I'm sure yeah, of it. I'd like a nice uh, Jewish girl. Now, you have to live in Florida, do you, for this? I yeah, know, she's to talking to me. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Joyce. See, see me later. Yes. Speaking of sons, are you Bob Minotti's, Bob Minetti's mom? Yes. Well, you, how proud you must be of him. Stand up here. Where's Bob? I just want to make sure. There you are. Well, listen, you're... <laughs> Tell you. Were you there when he auctioned him off? Yes, I was. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You must have been very proud. He, ra he raised a lot of money for the hospital. I was proud of the money, and I'm glad he yeah. raised... You know, I'm glad he raised the money. Yeah. I was embarrassed. A little bit. Yeah, yeah, I really was because he strutted, you know. He really strutted yeah, he liked it. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty-seven years old and still single. Boy, I don't know. Do you feel mixed about this? You wish, you wonder, you think maybe it's time Bobby settled down. With He's the... been engaged twice. Yeah. <laughs> and unengaged. So See? That's that's important information, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Now that you've looked at the catalog. Yeah. I'd like to ask the Florida man. Uh, you say you're into physical fitness and everything, and you're always seeing women who are into physical fitness. What kind of qualities are you looking for through the magazine that you're not getting from these women who you meet all the time on the beach? That's what I want. Personality and a sense of humor. What is it? Personality and a sense of humor. But she wonders why you haven't met that kind of woman just through the normal social uh, interchange. Has it? Well, no. it happens. Yeah. It's just sometimes it works and sometimes we it have, doesn't. But the more the merrier. This magazine, if it gets circulation, uh, so. I'd like to know how do you go about finding the men uh, that you auction off, and what happened to men 45 and over? Yes. <laughs> we could use, if you know what I mean, a middle-aged auction, but go ahead. <laughs> uh, Last year, we did oh. have older gentlemen, and we don't have any problem finding the bachelors. In our group, we have 23 women, and we send them out and say, find us some single men, and they've done a nice job. Yes. Are you there, caller? Um, Are you single? Yes, I am. Uh, why don't you start on the left over here, Brian, and let's pan here. Can you see your TV set? Um, yes, I can. 
All right, well, we'll give you the whole uh, look here. And just, you know... Uh, yes, I can. <laughs> have you... Have you found someone you're interested in? Wait, wait, a little bit more. No, to, no keep panning. Pan slowly. Thank What's you. his name? What is it? What's his name? Yeah, what go ahead. What's his name? Oh, what's whose name? How do I know Please, him? No, go back. What's he wearing? Black shirt. A black... Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Now, uh, you're... Jeff. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff thank you. you. I can't tell my players without <laughs> a program here. <laughs> Okay, this is Jeff, Jeff Edelson. He's from Sunrise, Florida. He grew up in Long Island. You know, he's got to be a great guy. Grew up in Long Island. His sister-in-law referred him for the magazine. Thank you, Terry. Well, Jeff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, I don't know, if you get to Florida? Yes, I have. All right. Well, Terry code 305. <laughs> no, no, don't do that. Uh, hang on a minute. I want to get your phone number. What the heck? We should say, as the magazine will tell you, that we're not responsible for it. Uh, well, you know what I mean? We don't guarantee, you know, wonderful things and will happen. Coming to you. Just wondering if you have to have a physical before you're accepted by the magazine. I was concerned about liability. <laughs> no, we don't go that far. You don't apply to physical, no. I'm sure. No. Yes. I've never been to an auction. I don't know how this works. Is it cash it and carry? No, is it cash, cash and carry, carry, or do they take credit cards? Yes. <laughs> I mean... They do take credit cards. They do take credit cards. The woman who does the uh, matchmaking, I wonder, does she charge a fee? Is that how you work? Yes, do, she does. You mean, talking to me? Yes. Uh, no, we don't charge a fee, although we're trying to set up some kind of a uh, voluntary contribution. But our parties are strictly hosted by the hostesses and hosts of the evening. Yes. I was just wondering for the magazine how she decides who gets to go in. Do they have to pay a fee or do they have to ask or does she pick? She picked for the first one, huh? Yes, I picked. They've been handpicked. Now I assume you'll, you'll accept uh, applications now, I'm Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. Yes. The Jewish lady that, ran, the, that arranges the Jewish marriages, yes. she said our children were getting older and older. The Jewish criteria, why do you consider your children old for marriage? And then I'll tell you the Catholic criteria. <laughs> And also, well, what is other requirements? Can anyone come to you and say, I want to marry off my child? Well, we don't provide marriages. Let's start backwards. Well, we really just provide parties, and we hope that there will be enough chemistry and that people will, in fact, meet each other. And we have had about 30 marriages as a result of these parties. As a matter of fact, I have a single daughter sitting here in the audience, so that uh, <laughs> we, haven't been, we haven't been totally successful yet. <laughs> But what about the age? He's not a the they, age. When do you consider them old? You said well, our children were getting older well, and older. Over thirty. Thirty. Well, nowadays. But we got old. Yeah, not that's, that's what I said. We nowadays. Have them. Yeah, used to be twenty-four. Used to twenty-one. <laughs> twenty-one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Graduate high school, get married, and have a baby. All right. Don't sit around. I have to dust around you. Get out there. Find. That's right. <laughs> Are you there, caller? I'm glad you waited. Hi. Yes, hello. I would like to know: Is this illegal in some states? Uh, is it illegal? Oh, you want this now? You want the... <laughs> Are there any senior citizens in here? Uh, well, oh, fine. Us. Sure, Bring absolutely. That's what the woman's done. Yeah, it's legal. This is... But what about some older guys? Yeah, older know? hunks. Like, right. Yeah, right. So, but some gray-haired hunks. But... Yes, go ahead. You wanted to say. Oh, I you... find her very attractive. Uh, you what? This girl with the J in her hair. She's... I want to know. She's single. She's very attractive looking. Oh, this, this woman right here? Yeah, she went into J. Uh, you, you found her to be attractive, did yes. you? I'd like to know, is she single? single? Yes, yeah, she's single. I'd like to know if I could leave my number with her? Well, <laughs> what does this mean? Can you see your TV set? I got some bad news for you. What? This is a left-handed diamond ring. Let's auction her off. So you're engaged, right? But I'm still single. Well, you're... All right. People... Uh, how old are you? 20. You're what? 20. You're 20. You're 20. Mm-hmm. 100 bucks. Uh, There's a match. Yeah. You will? All right. Hang on a minute. Hang on. We don't make the news. We just report it here. <laughs> you just, uh... Are you there, caller? I'm glad you waited. Hi. Hi. Go ahead. I would like to know how... What? You wonder what? Hi, I would like to know how long the um, Florida 
how long the Florida men are going to be staying in New York. <laughs> I live in uh, Liberty Towers. Well, variously. You'd like to meet them, would you? I would love to meet them. Uh -huh. All of them. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, we're we're very them. pleased to originate from uh, Rockefeller Center. You want to hang around the old? Anyone interested in anything a little more realistic? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was <laughs> I was just wondering if this is going to be a monthly magazine, or do the men change all the time? Yes. Yes. yes it will be a quarterly magazine, quarterly. and each issue will have different fellows. <laughs> right. And we do hope to come out with a swimsuit edition for Christmas. Uh, oh, I hope you do. If you joined us late, we're talking about mail order catalogs, literally, M-A-L-E. Also, uh, is uh, Dale, are you here? You are Dale. Dale Henschel, well, doesn't your mother love you, and shouldn't she be proud of you? We're talking about you, Dale. Uh, yeah. You're not married, Dale. <laughs> no. And no man in this audience can find a good reason why you're not. I, I have no answer to that. <laughs> I'm teasing you. This is American. You don't have to get married at all. I, She'd be upset if I asked her how old she was. I'd be upset. Oh, okay. Uh, you must be proud of what your mom's doing. 25 marriages from this. Yeah, that's great. And you go to these meetings, do you? Most of them. Mm -hmm. Many of them. And the guys are nice. Nice. Very nice. And you're not likely to meet this, this kind of uh, densely populated collection of nice guys in one place if it weren't for this effort. That's true. It is, it's a good way to get similar types of people together in one place. How many daughters? <laughs> four. You have four daughters, of, of whom, how many are married? Just one. At one. this point, just one. I see. Thus, and, the parties. No, and I'm here, kidding. <laughs> and here's one of the... Yeah. Well, you have a very good-looking family, and we're not surprised. Thank you, Dale, for helping us out. <laughs> Let me get somebody who has another shot. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. You want to stand, please? Not much time, darling. Is there an age limit to the mail order catalog? Is there a what? A age, age limit. limit. Good no, question. It's, it's from 18 to 80. Well, that's encouraging. That's encouraging, yeah. I was wondering how you get the, uh, for the shotgun, how you get the young people to come to the parties. I have two married sons, and I could have stood on my ear before they were married, and I... I couldn't get them to go to they anything. They not go to or anything organized. You mean, anything right? that I suggested. That's exactly like that. yeah. That's exactly right because the parents don't give the parties. We send the invitations. It comes as a little cocktail invitation, and there's an RSVP to Joy Henschel or Marsha Teschner with a phone number, and that's all it is. I'll tell you, this is a uh, very important item, apparently. If you're not selling the mail order catalogs, you're in the wrong business. Yes, sir. I got a suggestion on how she can get her daughters married. Don't oh. limit the field. There's plenty of good men out there. They don't have to be Jewish. I know a lot of friends of mine, yeah. and they get along fine. <laughs> but we cannot be disrespectful to those people who want to retain the uh, homogeneity of their own religion. Nobody is, uh, should argue with that. What about the children, though? What about the children, though? Do they what? want to keep that, that heritage, or what? That, uh, your, your heritage is more likely to be retained if you marry someone of your own faith. That's the point. But that's, that's fine if the parents want that. But what about the children themselves? Oh uh, well, she's not dealing with children. She's dealing with young adults. Presumably, they'll make their own decision. Yes. I was wondering how old is Jeff? Know, my is daughter, yeah. I know. Really? I know my daughter's watching, and she wonder how old Jeff is. Jeff? I'm 32 years old. Yes. I'm gonna have my way with Blondie there. Full head of hair. Have your way with Blondie. That's I see. Great. What's the <laughs> Is that too old? We, these audiences are so very shy that we get it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this is um, to the matchmaker. Yes. What do you do if young ladies or men who are not Jewish show up at your invitational party? Uh, well, they're welcome to the parties, but we try to limit the list to people that we feel are of the same religion and would be interested in marrying somebody or meeting somebody of the same religion. We didn't have all these gimmicks when we were growing up, but my wife and I met in a very unusual way. It was in a travel agency, travel agency, and she was looking for the last resort. <laughs> if you do that, then I'll lose control of this program. Um, show them. Uh, I want to show you some of these happy marriages. Uh, just some of the marriages that Mrs. Henschel's proud of. Here, look at this. These are folks who met uh, because they went to your uh, 
You're they parties. met at the parties. As you a matter of fact, parties. two of these people are sisters and brothers that met their respective husbands. One just had a baby. So that, uh, I would just like to give credit where credit is due. Is if it? you were up for bid at an auction, this is where I would put my well, money right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.